Hi there, Russ Douglas 222 again. This is part three of three of my FX Dreamline Bottle Pup review, aka the Pup. And uh, you'll have you'll gathered by now that this rifle's not without its quirks, but I love it. And especially I love the uh, externally adjustable power levels. Another quick observation for you. If I put the rifle on as I normally wear it, taking care not to snag the microphone, you can see that the hook the stock hook that goes over my shoulder when I'm aiming. You can see that that's sort of closest to the uh, side of my head. Um, one other observation is we have on the left side the forward sling swivel point. As you saw in part one of the video, I've got attached to the forward the sabre bottle clamp that I got for Embraces of Bristol. One observation is obviously with the rifle sort of facing onto you the sling is on the left and i have found after just a few outings with the rifle and permissions that it's caused the bottle to sort of unscrew slightly so i'm gonna have to keep an eye on keeping the bottle tight or, and or perhaps see if i can dismount the bottle itself without losing pressure within the bottle and reattach the forward sling swivel point perhaps around the neck of the bottle we'll see i don't know there's not a lot of room under here so i need to see if i can reattach the sling such that it won't cause the bottle to loosen while i'm moving around my permissions that's one new observation for you let me sit down i'll move the camera and uh, explain a little introduction to the rest of the, the footage that's coming up okay so we have some some pest control with the bottle pop coming up uh, very shortly. Just to explain something though, for those of you not aware, I generally proceed my pest control footage filmed on the rifle scope, the Pod 008 LRF. I generally proceed that with thermal footage. Now the thermal footage is recorded, it's captured on a Pulsar Quantum Light XQ30V uh, thermal spotter which I bought from Scott Country International, I think two years ago. Um, and I've got this hooked up to a Yukon MPR DVR, digital video recorder, via a small cable that my friend Hator made up. Thanks, Hator. Now that's it's compact-ish. It fits in my Smocks Joey pouch. And I've got a, a lanyard so I don't lose it. But it does eat batteries. There's a replacement battery pack. It takes four AAs at a time and it really does eat through them. So I'm going to bring the camera around and uh, show you something new, which I'm hoping will get around this. There'll be a link to this new new little gadget down below because uh, my lovely wife, Sam, got me this for Christmas. So thanks very much, Sam. We have the Pulsar Quantum Light XQ30V spotter with its lens open closed. It's got the built-in battery pack uh, which has obviously the weight of four AA batteries and not much else but this this fella does eat through batteries and the Yukon MPR takes a SD card Yukon MPR DVR recorder has AV in from the XQ30V's output um, and it's got an internal battery that lasts pretty well providing I charge it beforehand which I usually do but here we also have a power in jack socket so i'm going to ask bruce a favor soon because he may previously made up these two cables that feed the yukon mpr from the pod sa series thermal scopes or from the same scl and sct thermal scopes so i'm going to ask bruce if he can make me up a cable for this which goes from male usb at one end male jack plug at the other end to see if I can power this fella long term. So, gadget time. And this is just an aside, really, to the main video. My wife, Sam, bought me as an early festive present. We don't really do Christmas and we don't really do presents, but she very kindly bought me this Koopa. Now, this is a hand warmer. It's got, uh, it's uh, all in, it's enclosed, it's waterproof. You hold down the power button then you get a red light or two or three now this is a hand warmer that is very rapidly getting 
warm in my hand and it will last for hours and hours. And you've got one, two, three, you've got three power levels. But what you've also got here, standard USB, this is also a 10,000 milliamp hour power bank. So I'm thinking, put this fella in my pouch in the front of my Jackpack smock, flexi cable from the USB to the XQ30V's power in. I can take the battery pack out, which saves weight on this fella, and I can then sit spotting long term and just press the record button on the DVR when something worthwhile appears. I'm wondering if it's also possible to power the DVR from this fella. Whoa, that's really hot in my hand now. So I'll put this back off. So this is my new plan. My wife bought me this as a hand warmer when I'm out shooting in winter on the pests, as I'll be sh very shortly when it gets colder on the rats in the local permissions barns. But this could also prove to be an awesome power bank to power my thermal spotter. Uh, then I won't need to uh, worry about this fella going flat as it often does. Awesome. And I'll put the link down below to this power bank on Amazon. Pop a uh, screen. I've now got an Amazon on, on uh, screen affiliate here. shop. I've put so a few accessories I've put a in few this accessories shop. in that. Some stuff that I've reviewed in the past, some stuff I regularly use, and some stuff I use every time I'm out shooting. Hope that's useful to some of you. It is Christmas soon after all, and some of you do presents. Okay, so that's the new gadget reveal that I'll hopefully be using soon to power the thermal spotter all night long if need be. What's coming next is some pest control footage. It's humane. I only go for headshots with rabbits at the request of the landowner, the farmer, because he obviously doesn't want his business getting spoiled by uh, horses going lame with their, when they put their feet in rabbit holes. So. So I control the rabbits at his request. He knows I'm, I'm humane, he knows I'm responsible and insured and so on. I, I even jump through the hoops. I um, call 101 beforehand to notify Police Scotland, get an instant number, give them all the details. Recently, they've even been asking me for the air rifle license number, the uh, firearm certificate number for the bottle pup, start and end dates of the firearms license. Um, They've just got a tick sheet they follow when you phone 101, but it can take up to half an hour. I think 28 minutes is the longest it's taken me to get through, by which point I've driven all the way to the permission and I'm way to sitting in the car waiting to get started. But needs must, and if we get locked down again up here in Scotland, then I'll still be able to uh, do this responsible pest control, providing I uh, follow the, the procedures. So, all good. Each short clip of pest control will be preceded by a short clip from the thermal spotter and where possible I've, I've basically I'd give a voiceover to the spotter anywhere it's illegible I'll cover it with a voiceover but fortunately the uh, Yukon NPR does uh, have an external microphone and picks up my voice when I'm chatting away to the uh, spotter in the pitch darkness while spotting rabbits. Oh. I'm working one of my permissions. I just counted 43 rabbits between these three paddocks I'm looking at right now. I think when I get my new FACR rifle this week, I think it's going to see some use. These horses have got problems. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, two, two, twenty four, two, six, twenty eight, thirty, thirty two, thirty four, thirty six, thirty eight, forty, forty two, forty four, forty six, forty seven, oh, forty eight. Pony over there, horse here, and at least 48 rabbits.
about there's one room at about 90 meters some distant livestock or deer two strangely warm bales more livestock and there's Chris That's one corner I'm monitoring, that's the other one, although obviously I won't want to uh, any ricochets to hit my car. But I suspect that's a rabbit over there in the distance. Now what's that to the right of the small rabbit? Spooks the cat has just come out of his little shed there. Turned that ready for his evening prowl. Oh. And there's one rabbit out at the moment on the back drive. And that's the uh, public footpath on the other side of that gate. There's two in the northeast, moved a little closer. There's a horse behind the wood pile. Another horse, and there's one or two rabbits. Uh, that's the house I was planning to head for tonight after seeing a dozen rabbits in front of it. Oh. There's a second one behind the horse. Only two tonight so far. Fresh horse dung. Uh, seven rabbits. The breeze is from behind me, 15 miles an hour. Which is why I was going to be in that garden right there. With the breeze in my face.
one, two, ah, they've all moved over to there now, <laughs> perfect. Third one. 